take this over to the saw, cut a couple small pieces. I'm guessing around uh, maybe three inch pieces. Cause you know, I know what three inches look like. It's double what I have in my pants. Three inches is even too big. See, I tell my wife. Two inches is more than enough. She'll be happy with that. from here to here I'll probably cut a piece of wood or something to put in here with a clamp on it just to kind of keep it straight ish and then um, we're gonna make another sleeve like this for the end and uh, come up on a 90 here come up on a 90 here and uh, where they connect we'll put the, uh, the triple tree and we'll start getting that going so looks like something I'm not gonna say it's good but it looks like something I think what I might do too is kind of try to notch this back, this 3 8 right here. See if I can get it back just a little bit. And then it'll make this kind of sit back a little bit further. 
I like to get it to sit back all the way to that square tubing. So I gotta do a little Buenos Nachos right in here. So I think I might do that next way. I can really sit this guy back and these will be dead, <laughs> dead even. And then uh, go from there. We're doing a thing. Kind of change plans here a little bit. Before, when I put the piece in the end that was the same dimension as here, and I tightened it up, for some reason it would want to pull it out this way. So what I'm going to do is, I got this is uh, dead level right now, so I'm going to put a really health, healthy tack on this side, get this one up, nice and level, and then I'll put the piece in here. This way, it's unable to pull back out. In theory, but we'll see. We'll see. tubing notch, which I've never used before, is if I can cut a piece, you know, to, to kind of go in here, maybe like at that point there, just to kind of hold this. So you know what, maybe I'll try to set that up and uh, give it a shot, see if we can get crazy. All right guys, so here's the final template. Uh, I tried it on both sides, it actually, actually seems like it's pretty good, so. This is just gonna come onto here. Actually, <laughs> backwards. Oops, hold on. There we go. I'm gonna say, for the second ago. So she said, yep. So this will go here. It's uh, it's probably a CH high, but it'll be easier for me. Once I get it on there, I can uh, use the flapper, grind it down. It'll be easier than me trying to cut a little piece. I absolutely hate using the death wheel. 
I really need like a bandsaw that I can use. I know other guys use a, uh, use the death wheel and they can cut like beautiful shapes. Everything's perfect. Me, I'm, I'm going to lose a face using that freaking thing. Cause I'm, I suck. So, uh, I hate using it. So I'd rather get it on here and do it the stupid way. And she used a flapper. I bought a new, a new, uh, new flapper today, 40 grit. It'll take it right down and I won't kill myself. So I'm going to bring the piece of metal over to the saw and then I'll, I'll video drill in this hole and then we'll go from there. All right, guys. So measured about five inches here. That's what I need for that. Um, then I'll have to lay out where the hole's going to be, put that on here and put this on the uh, drill press, make that hole. And it should be easy. We'll see. Let's see if I can, uh, how many sparks I can make down here. Oh my God, what a mess. Don't work like this. It's disgusting. that I just made. Could have went a little bit smaller on the hole, but you know what, I'd rather not have to fight it. Uh, so I'm gonna get on here, I'm gonna throw some tacks. I'll, I'll tack it aggressively, we'll say. And then uh, once I get both sides in, I'll um, take the wheels off and I'll buzz it all the way around. This way it's got some strength. This I still need to grind back to be flush with that. But behind here I got it all good. So I'm gonna get this one on. Of course, it's not gonna stay now, but. So I'll get this thing tacked up really well here. Same thing on that side. And uh, the reason I'm actually doing this, like I said, is uh, so now I can kind of weld around here and it'll, it'll actually give this bar some strength instead of just relying on this thin stuff here. And it'll all be tied into the 316. So I'm gonna buzz that in real quick and then we'll uh, do the other side and then keep it going.
Nope. She shifted. This doesn't really matter for what I'm doing next. But. So that's like, that's level. That size level too. So what I'm gonna do next is uh, I got this piece here, the sleeve that kind of fits in there. And it fits in really good. There's a little bit of movement, but I'm gonna drill a couple holes here for, you know, for rosette here. Here, I'll go straight through. So I have one on the top, one on the bottom. Make a small piece. So maybe like that much is coming out, we'll say. And then slide this back to here. And, uh, you know, just so we get that 90, so that way we have something in there kind of holding this joint other than just me butt welding these two together. Then we'll uh, kind of angle it up, angle that one up, put some small pieces. This is kind of like a little jig I made. I'm not sure how good this part's gonna work out, but this whole thing's crooked. I gotta move the bike over that way. And I kind of made this so I can go like this. I gotta tighten the bottom. And this will hold the neck kind of where I need it while I'm lining all this stuff up. So hopefully that'll work. We're gonna see. But uh, next thing I need to do is just uh, drill a hole, top, bottom, top, bottom, cut a small couple little pieces off of this thing, just to give myself a little bit of, of meat coming through. I really should, what I should do really is then drill a hole through here, maybe both sides, maybe actually even weld that onto there first and then push it in, but I see it's not giving me that full uh, bendage. So, hmm. I think what I might do is, yeah, just put the small piece in there and have a hole so I can uh, attach it here after the fact. And then we can kind of play with these and get them to where they meet up. See how far these uprights need to come into the neck and then uh, build the down tube. So making some progress is starting to, to look like a thing. I'm gonna have hours of welding once I do all this stuff and tack it all up. But that's not bad, it goes pretty quick. I actually like welding, so we'll see. Next, drill a couple holes, cut a couple small pieces of this steel, and uh, go from there. Now I'm just gonna get drilling these holes for the rosettes. If I was smart, which definitely not. You're so stupid. I would have did all these holes on the drill press when it, when it was just a small piece of pipe. It would, went through like butter. So let's see if I'm slipping all over like an idiot trying to do this now. Look, Baldi's here. Kinda. Too bad. <laughs> Where's my hair? <laughs> okay. Nah, that's like pretty easy. Now we're gonna take this, take this over to the saw, cut a couple small pieces. I'm guessing around uh, maybe three inch pieces. Cause you know, I know what three inches look like. It's double what I have in my pants. So. Three inches is even too big. See, I tell my wife. Two inches is more than enough. She'll be happy with that. Hmm. <laughs> 